There should be two bolts that hold this cover down right here. Use a 10 millimeter socket or whatever size that they actually are. Pull those two bolts out and then just grab this cover and just pop it up like that. It's just secure it on right there. There may be another grommet over here. Yep, there's a grommet right there that fell off. So just pull that up. You can remove this hose. Use a hose, hose clamp pliers. Just slide it down. And just try to wiggle this off. like that. There's two bolts right here. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Remove those two bolts. And we want to remove this intake duct. Use a straight blade screwdriver. Loosen up this clamp right here. You can slide that off and then loosen up the clamp over here. And just slide this side off the airbox. And out of your way. Just to remove the air box, get it out of your way. Just slide these two clips off. Disconnect the connector right here. Just push down. And there might be a retainer. Just pry that off with a trim tool. And just pull that up. Take these two bolts out right here, the 10 millimeters. Use a 10 millimeter socket. And this one right here. There's two brackets right here. I'm just gonna remove the bolts for those. There's a 10 millimeter socket. Just take the bolt out. Disconnect the hose that's right here. You just slide it out and right here. And then there's another hose down here that's attached. You just gotta pop that out of the fan shroud assembly. We're gonna remove this hose so that we can pull the fan shroud out and up. You could always have a drain bucket underneath here. Just make sure you don't do this when the vehicle is hot. It's same with taking the coolant cap off. Just use a hose clamp pliers, slide this clamp down. You can just twist this off. And it's pretty dry, that's good. You just slide that out of the way. Take a 10 millimeter wrench and you can loosen up the nuts that are on the, the fan clutch. And the belt, since the belt's still on, it makes it a little easier. Loosen them up. At this time, you can take the nuts off. Just You don't have to take the fan off completely. With everything loose, you can just raise this up and reach in here. Just grab the fan. Just raise it up about to there. You can slide the fan out. Right here. Just like that. You can try to slide it out on the other side as well, but that works. Now with this on the bench, I'm gonna take these four bolts out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. You can separate the fan from the clutch. Take the fan clutch, set it down just like this, and take the fan, and you should be able to see where it says front. You want that to line up just like this. And once it's on there correctly, put the bolts in, get them all started. And tighten the bolts down. Grab the fan. Try to slide them down together. Try to 
slide that fan on the pulley and you can maneuver the housing a little easier. There is some pins on the bottom that have to line up. And take the bolts for these brackets. Slide these in position. And tighten them down. Put these two bolts in. Tighten these down. Reattach the hose that goes right here. The one on the side that goes over here. And then underneath, if it was if there was a hose underneath, you want to attach that underneath as well. Now we can put the coolant hose on, upper radiator hose. Use a clamp. Hose clamp tool, that's nice and tight. At this point, you can go back and top off the coolant if you lost any coolant. Put the airbags back in place. And clamp it down. Reconnect the connector. And lock this in. Slide the air snorkel on. Over the throttle body. And slide this hose on. Use the hose clamp pliers. Move that hose clamp over. And tighten down the worm clamps. Use the straight blade screwdriver. Snug it down. And snug it down over here. Put these bolts in. Tighten them down. Put this cover in place. And if you have the two bolts that go there, put those in and tighten them down.